Today we're taking a look at a BVM or a bag valve mask. We're gonna take a quick look at a BVM or a bag valve mask. This is a device that is used for artificial or positive pressure ventilation on a patient that is either not breathing or that is uh, really struggling to breathe. So we can use this device to help push air into their lungs. Now, normally a patient will take a negative pressure breath. When they uh, take a deep breath, it draws air into their lungs, but there's no real way for us to be able to reproduce this in an emergency when their body is not doing that themselves. So we resort to positive pressure ventilation by using a BVM or even a pocket mask to deliver ventilations to these patients. The BVM packs down fairly small, um, and there's actually a micro BVM that folds down even smaller than that if you're really looking for something that is space efficient. This BVM, when you pull it out of the bag, you'll have a face mask. Then you will take this oxygen tubing out of the end here. You have an oxygen reservoir bag on the back side as well. And then we'll simply pull this apart to reveal the full BVM. Take the mask and we will hook the mask up to the end here. So we'll slide this right into place. And now our BVM is set up and ready to use. This can be used on room air since our ambient air around us has 21% oxygen, or if there's oxygen available, we can take the hose that is connected to the back of the BVM, and we can connect this to an oxygen tank to provide about 95 to 100% oxygen to that patient as we're ventilating this patient. An alternative to a BVM that actually takes up a lot less space is a pocket mask. They usually come in a little case like this, once we pull them out, they look something like this. The pocket mask is simply a mask that will sit over the bridge of the nose and right up underneath the mouth, creating a seal around the face. And then you as the rescuer are going to use your breath to be able to positively ventilate uh, the patient. So there is a one-way valve and a filter right here to prevent any aspiration, diseases, vomit, anything from coming back from the patient uh, back to you. Uh, so that will help keep you safe. There's also a port here that you can connect up to supplemental oxygen as well. Uh, some pocket masks don't have that, uh, so be aware of that. And also be aware when you are giving your breath to a patient, there's gonna be less oxygen because we breathe in 21% and we exhale somewhere around 16%. So we use about 5% oxygen. So it's still beneficial because there's still oxygen in our exhaled breath that we're giving to that patient, but there's not gonna be as much as if we were to use a BVM to be able to ventilate this person with 21% ambient air or 95 to 100% with supplemental oxygen. A couple other advantages to a pocket mask are because you are not having to squeeze the bag of a BVM, you can actually use both hands to create a good seal uh, with this mask on the patient's face. So you can get a much better seal typically with a pocket mask. It's also much harder to over inflate someone's lungs when ventilating because the breath that you're giving them is the breath that you already have. So it's already a normal adult sized breath that you are now providing to that patient. Remember when we ventilate, we're only gonna ventilate until we see chest rise, which means that chest is now full of air and it's just enough to where that chest wall starts expanding. We stop and let the lungs deflate before providing the next breath. This was a quick overview of the BVM and the pocket mask, uh, but we do have a video on airway management that would be very helpful that goes into a lot more detail on these items. Before you're using medical devices, you should always seek out proper professional training. And I would highly encourage you to take a BLS or a CPR class if you have not already done so. The bag valve mask that we talked about today comes standard with our Responder EMT medical kit. You can find that kit and more medical supplies on our website at sixecosystems.com. If you have any questions over anything we discussed today, leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, stay vigilant and stay safe.